हेलो डियर लर्नर्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन सब्जेक्ट रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग इन प्रेजेंट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन नीड ऑफ रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग प्रोसेस इंट्रोडक्शन रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग इज वाइडली नोटेड एज इफेक्टिव कॉस्ट सेविंग टूल इट इज ए कॉस्ट सेविंग टूल विच कैन बी यूज फॉर सेविंग द कॉस्ट ड्यूरिंग डिजाइन एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ ए कॉम्पोनेंट और प्रोडक्ट इट इज ए सिस्टमैटिक अप्रोच यूज टू एनालाइज द डायमेंशन ऑफ ए कॉम्पोनेंट और प्रोडक्ट एंड रीडिजाइन द एग्जिस्टिंग कॉम्पोनेंट और प्रोडक्ट सो दैट वन मे डिराइव पोटेंशियल इंप्रूवमेंट सपोज ड्यूरिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीडिजाइन ए प्रोडक्ट और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू द इम्प्रूव द प्रोडक्टिविटी और डिजाइन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट this approach is very much useful in reverse engineering the dimensions of the object are easily analyzed reverse engineering can also be defined as the development of a complete technical data package that is tdp for an existing component or assembly so reverse engineering is used to identify the complete technical data that is to collect the all the dimensions of a object for a, any component or sub assembly reverse engineering has been described as it is a four stage process in the development of a technical data to support the efficient use of capital resources and to increase the productivity reverse engineering consists of four steps in the product development or to collect the dimensions of the product to efficient use of the capital resources and to increase the productivity so let us understand what are the different stages in the reverse engineering number one stage is data evaluation data evaluation is possible by visual inspection dimensional inspection quality evaluation and possible failure analysis second stage is data generation once the data is properly evaluated by this method now we have to generate the data either by engineering drawing or nowadays we are using the cad modeling after data generation we will go for the data verification whether the data is accurately generated or not data verification is possible by prototyping model testing model failure analysis and quality assurance in this step we create the prototype we test the prototype we go for the model failure analysis and we con confirm the quality assurance the fourth step is data implementation once the data is evaluated it is properly generated it is verified the last step becomes the implementation in the implementation stage we pro deliver the prototype actual model is prepared project summaries are prepared economic analysis is done and finally the project is implemented so these are the four stages of reverse engineering why there is a need of reverse engineering why we have to implement this concept in the manufacturing number 1 manufacturing of a service component after discontinuation of a product line we know that every organization changes their product after periodic time period and after that if you want to provide their service component we can use the reverse engineering let's take the example of tata nano nowadays tata nano tata motors has discontinued the production of the tata nano but in future those customer having the tata nano they may need the service component so in that case company may take help of this reverse engineering second redesigning an existing component which lack of adequate product data documentation if suppose a company has not maintained the adequate product data in the past but if you want to redesign that component this reverse engineering will be easier nowadays every company is using the cad models and cad modeling tools to preserve the product data but in case of a products which are manufactured 5 to 10 years before their data may not be available and in case if you want to redesign that product we need to take the help of reverse engineering third step corruption of data file or loss of cad design of a product suppose in case of a failure of a computer memory or in case of a files are get corrupted or any cad design having any kind of technical errors in that case we have to take help of this reverse engineering competitive benchmark benchmarking of a product component to set the competitive benchmark 
we can use this reverse engineering technique generation of a cheaper alternative products as a substitute for monopoly components or products suppose in the market some of the product is having monopoly and if they are having very huge cost then reverse engineering is used to design or redesign the component with the cheap alternative product with least cost so to create the competition among the market next reverse engineering process this reverse engineering process is divided into two steps how the reverse engineering is carried out number one digitizing the part suppose you have an existing part with you and if you want to make it digital that you want to collect the dimensions of this part then first step is digitization of the component in this step the device such as coordinate measurement machine this i will explain in next slides so coordinate measurement machine or laser scanners or any 3d scanners are used to collect the raw geometry of the object here you can see in the second object the raw geometry is created the coordinate measurement machine takes the dimensions of each and every part of this object and the data is usually collected in the form of coordinate points here you can observe the data is collected in the form of coordinate points and in this notepad all the dimensions that is x y and z coordinates are saved the data is usually in the form of coordinate point of the object with the local coordinate system we know that there are two types of system global coordinate system and local coordinate system so object according to the object data is collected a point cloud is set of a 3d points describing the outline or surface feature of the object means here you can observe the points are located in a such a way that it shows the shape or surface of the mouse so data is collected in this type of manner second step building the cad model once you have the coordinates of the object then you have to go for building the cad models this step converts the raw point data into usable format using a program that has a capability to wrap the cloud points with a 3d once the raw points you have collected it becomes very important to regularize that point in a definite object or shape here you can observe sometimes the coordinates are not properly arranged so you have to arrange this component in a definite sequence so that you can design a object if the point cloud covers several object the user of the software may have to split the points cloud into smaller section sometimes if you measure the data of two three objects together it becomes difficult to separate these cloud points and we have to take help of the 3d softwares here only mouse is used so it is a single component data collection is very easier but in case of assembly the all the cloud point will mix together and it will be difficult to separate that so we have to use the software for that application now it is also needed to align the points cloud data taken from the different views of the object you i already told you that sometimes the misalignment of this point may create the problem so we have to align this point in a proper sequence to design the proper object here you can observe solid model created in a cad system by using this data cloud points thank you